Your biggest worry when you buy an air conditioner might be how much will it increase your electricity bill. You don't want to suffer the hot temperatures of the summer, but you also don't want a very high electricity bill month on month. If this is so, you are at the right place to watch this entire video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Good news is, there are 4 simple tips to not have a high power consumption even if you are using an air conditioner. Now without wasting your time, we would quickly start with the tip number 1. Install AC with capacity based on your room size. That means based on the size in square feet of the room or office where you are willing to install the AC, you should select the capacity of air conditioner. Because mostly the reason of high electricity bill is that people install 1.5 ton AC where only 1 ton AC is required. To solve this problem, I have added here this table which shows AC tonnage requirement based on room size. If the room size is up to 100 square feet, then 0.8 ton AC is recommended. Similarly, for up to 150 square feet area, 1 ton, up to 250 square feet, 1.5 ton, up to 400 square feet, 2 ton is recommended, up to 500 square feet, 2.5 ton. And if your area is more than this, I would suggest you to use multiple air conditioner. Then our tip number 2 is, install inverter and 5 star AC. Here at first we'll talk about inverter AC. As we all know, an inverter AC saves more power as compared to non-inverter AC. But here we'll see working of both these types of AC. At first we'll talk about non-inverter AC. Now suppose if you turn on the power and set your desired room temperature to 22 degrees Celsius in a non-inverter AC, where your current room temperature is 28 degree. In this case, compressor will receive power with full capacity and hence it will work with its full efficiency. In this way, it will give maximum cooling to our indoor unit to circulate in our room. Now when your room temperature decreases to 22 degrees Celsius, that is your desired room temperature, it will turn off the power and compressor will be switched off. Then again, when temperature rises to 22 degrees, the compressor will start with the full capacity again till it reaches 22. In this way, in a non-inverter air conditioner, your desired room temperature is controlled by subsequently switching the compressor on and off automatically. But the thing we should know is, when the compressor is on, it will work with its full capacity. In this case, compressor speed is not controlled. Now we'll see the working of an inverter AC. Here, as soon as we switch on the power and set our desired temperature to suppose 22 degrees Celsius, the power will be transmitted to the inverter which will control the power to our desired temperature, say 22 degree and then transmit this controlled power to the compressor. Then compressor will work with the efficiency of only 22 degrees to provide the chilling effect to the indoor unit and circulate in our room to attain our desired temperature. In this way, it saves power and maintains the desired temperature in our room. Here the thing which should be noted is that compressor does not work with its full capacity and only required power is supplied to it and it will remain continuously on unlike non-inverter AC where compressor kept on switching on and off. In this way it saves our power consumption and attains our desired temperature. Now we'll talk about benefits of using 5 star AC. You will come across this question for sure when you go to buy AC that is what star rating you want to go for whether it is 2 star, 3 star or 5 star. Here I would directly relate this star rating with your per hour electricity bill to make our work easier. That is how much electricity bill will come by switching on the particular AC model for 1 hour. Here we will talk about split AC 2 star, 3 star and 5 star. In short we will compare all 3. At first we will talk about 5 star rating AC. Here the second column will show the model that is capacity of the AC. And this third column will show the power consumption in kilowatt hour. And what important here is that 1 kilowatt per hour electricity will be equal to 1 unit power consumption. So suppose if we talk about a 2 star AC, 2 ton capacity, it will give power consumption of 2.21 kilowatt per hour. That means switching on for 1 hour, it will consume your 2.21 units per hour. So multiplying this 2.21 unit with 1 unit charge, suppose 7 rupees per unit will give us 15.47 rupees. This is one hour electricity bill of this particular model to star 2 ton. So in short, if you switch on this 2 star AC of 2 ton capacity for one hour, it will give you 15.47 rupees of bill. Similarly, for one ton AC, it will consume 1.71 kilowatt per hour electricity. 
That is, switching this model on for 1 hour will consume 1.71 unit. Multiplying this by 7 will give you 11.97 rupees per hour. Similarly, 2 star AC 1 ton will give 8.05 rupees per hour. Now talking about 3 star ACs. Here 2 ton capacity gives us 13.51 rupees per hour. 1.5 ton AC gives 10.92 rupees per hour. 1 ton AC gives 7.63 rupees per hour. And 0 0.8 ton gives 5.67 rupees per hour. And at last we'll talk about 5 star AC. Here 2 ton capacity AC gives 12.11 rupees per hour. 1.5 ton AC gives 10.43 rupees per hour. 1 ton AC gives 6.86 rupees per hour and 0 0.8 ton gives 5.11 rupees per hour. So we can directly compare. Suppose this 5 star 2 ton AC with 2 star 2 ton. So 5 star 2 ton AC gives 12.11 rupees per hour and 2 star 2 ton AC gives 15.47 rupees per hour. Mostly we use this 1 ton AC. So we can compare also this 5 star with 2 star 1 ton. So 5 star 1 ton gives 6.86 rupees per hour and 2 star 1 ton gives 8.05 rupees per hour. Here we can directly compare the difference. How much difference will be there in per hour electricity bill. So based on this you can understand how much power can a 5 star AC save as, as compared to 3 and 2 star AC. Then here our tip number 3 is mount AC at the appropriate location. We cannot mount our split air conditioner in any corner of the room. There are specific thumb rules we need to follow which are directly related to the power consumption. The first one is install your AC away from any heat source. In case your air conditioner is installed near any heat source where generally there is temperature higher than the normal room temperature like near kitchen, near exhaust, near window where there is direct sunlight incident. Due to this high temperature over the localized area your AC sensor won't sense the correct room temperature and no cutoff mode will remain on. Due to this it will give you extra chilling effect which can boost your electricity bill. Second is install it at height of 7 to 8 feet. That is indoor unit of your AC should be installed at a height of 7 to 8 feet from the floor. This will give you an evenly distributed and circulated air by your AC. But sometimes people install it exactly below the slab level with no gap above. Due to this your AC unit will not get enough warm air above to inhale and so can't exhale the chilled air with maximum efficiency. Due to this low efficiency there will be extra electricity bills and there are even chances of your AC might even ask for the maintenance. Due to this reason we need to place AC at least at the gap of half a feet from the slab level. Then third is do not install it behind any obstruction. You should not place your indoor unit behind any object like furniture which may block your flow. This is because due to this air will not be evenly circulated on the entire room and so will have to keep AC on for longer time which will even boost your electricity bill. Then our fourth and the last tip here is set temperature such that you get sufficient cooling. In the table what we saw electricity bill for switching on AC for one hour. Actually we will get that bill only if we switch on AC with the full efficiency that is at 18 degrees Celsius temperature. If we keep higher temperature or eco mode on there might be less power consumption comparatively. But sometimes what happens is people start the AC and set it to 18 degree then after some time due to excessive cooling they switch it off. Again when the temperature rises they will switch on AC with the full efficiency. So in an inverter AC you should set temperature such that you like to live in. No need to switch it off. In this way it will work efficiently with maximum power consumption. So friends I hope this video was useful for you. If this is so just click on the like button and do subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.